undernourished one. To the Hall of Heroes. What did he just call me? Where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, arm wrestling, and singing out of tune. If they think you're worthy, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. In your case, you'll be lucky to walk away with a spud gun. Now move it, Twiggy. I'm getting tired of these people disrespecting me in this game. Oh, that was Sony. Okay, Cambridge. Uh, my fault, Sony. That was that was Sony Computer Entertainment, people. Uh, Sony, where's your logo at? How was I supposed to know that was you? Okay. Who's the man? Mellow man. Oh. A land where the people were That's crazy. war was unknown. The children were polite and helpful at all times, and not just when mooching for chocolate. The monarch of the realm, King Peregrine, was wise and just, and all in all, a bit of a decent chap. Fond of philosophy, literature, and pictures of kittens in bonnets, he was an enlightened ruler. But he had among his retinue an official court magician. A brilliant but unscrupulous man by the name of Zarok. Okay, Zarok. Confining himself to the horoscopes and balloon animals for which he was employed, Zarok began to conduct horrific experiments on the bodies of the dead. Mm. Of course, people often get quite sensitive about their deceased loved ones, so it wasn't long before the king found out and had the sorcerer banished from the land. Okay. Zarok skulked away into the wilderness and busied himself by perfecting his experiments seething with rage and practicing <laughs> his diabolically evil laugh as most and villains do an army of demons at his command he set off to bring galumia under his foul dominion the captain of the royal guard sir daniel fortescue led the militia into battle against this unholy horde our boy songs are sung to this day of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude how the invaders fell before him like wheat before the sun. This is kind of long, not gonna lie. At last, though mortally wounded, he fell upon the infernal sorcerer and destroyed him utterly. True, these songs don't have particularly catchy choruses, but people cared less about chart success in those days. And so it was that Daniel Fortescue went down in history, the hero of Galenia. Yes, sir. And there came upon the land a time of peace, harmony and quality wines at affordable prices the tranquility was to last for a hundred years but then the sorcerer returned and our story begins Okay, Sony, where, where are we going? Where are we going? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't laugh like that in my ear. Alright, finally. Who's the man? Mellow man. What is going on, guys? Okay, you just gonna keep cackling. But was something funny about that, what I just said? Yeah, then stop laughing. Alright, anyway, we are here, people, with Medieval Resurrection. Okay, so you're just gonna keep chuckling. What happened to the options? Oh, it's just gonna circle back. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, we're here with Medieval Resurrection, people. This is a game that I have heard very much about, very much information about, 
there I know that there is uh, the original version or the first version of this game which was on the PlayStation and then they later released this version Medieval Resurrection from PlayStation Portable which to my understanding this version is a how do I say kind of a retelling of the story of the first one but it's it has certain parts that are that are different so it's it's like a I want to say like a remake but not like to a T remake. It has certain parts that are different from um, the original game. Um, I may end up going back and doing the uh, PlayStation version. But today, people, and for the uh, this month of October, I wanted to go through and play through this um, play through this uh, medieval game. It's kind of a I wouldn't call this like super horror, but it's kind of got like a you know. Halloween themed feel to it and so I felt it would be an appropriate game to play and so that's what we will do uh, let me check out some stuff right quick why would you have a demo in the actual game who, who would actually choose this option okay let me see sound yeah can, can we turn off laugh 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 laughing boy over here mr. chuckles um, speech volume music volume Subtitles definitely on. Um, I think everything else is fine. Yeah, the volume, the sound volume is fine, as well as the speech volume. Okay. Controls. Let me let me see what those are talking. Okay, fast attack, slow attack, slow attack, jump is O. That's interesting. I might have to fix that. Okay, so they have different. Yeah, let me get my jump to be X. Let me get that configuration. Let me get my jump as X. And then they just switch fast attack and slow attack. Let me have my fast attack be square and my slow attack be O. Oh, yeah, look, yeah, I like that. Okay. Exit with those changes. That's perfect. Uh, we probably don't have any mini games, so let's just hop right into the story, people. Without further ado, let us get started. Um, they kind of explained in the beginning that little uh, prelogue they gave kind of explains the basic story of uh, medieval resurrection. But I think they're going to talk a little bit about more now, kind of the setup. <laughs> let me let me stop talking. Okay. Uh -huh. Found it. <laughs> oh, this is this must be bro. <laughs> what did you find? Is that supposed to be his hair? Or is that like a crown? I'm confused. Is he trying to blow up the sun? I should have been paying more attention in the beginning. Is this guy dead or no, he's not dead. Like undead I meant. You know, like a zombie. It looks like he's bringing some zombies or he's bringing the life some well, he can't really bring zombies to life. Oh, <laughs> what's wrong with y'all? Okay, so he's out here taking souls. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. All I've heard this man, this man has literally said like three words. He said found it, and then all, all the only other thing he's been doing is laughing. Okay, 
Okay, so he's, he's building an undead army. Tony, what's up with these loading screens? Dan's Crypt. The best place to go if you're looking for a dead Dan. Okay. Uh, y'all think y'all you think you're hilarious with that, huh, Sony? Oi, you Fortescue! At last! Come! Get up! We got things to do! Alright, let's take care of this. Hey hey! Easy my friend! In my culture, we treat the guests with courtesy. Especially if they stop by for 100 years. Hmm. <laughs> Who am I? My friend, you should feel honored. Usually the corpses, their skulls are filled with just the worms. Instead, you get I, Al-Zalam, glorious genie of the Sultan Prince Razim the Ribald. This no guy lost the top. Hmm. Okay, a genie. You doubt me? I see it in your eye. Well, it is true. With genies, usually we are trapped within the lamps. That is bad. Very oily for the skin. But far worse, let me tell you, is when evil so Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm right there with you, Daniel. Cowardly night. Oh, the smell. It is mustier than a Saracen's jockstrap. You imply that I lie. In my culture, that would earn you 50 strokes of the Oh, my God. You are allergic to cuts. So that is a terrible punishment. But fine, if you're too busy with the being dead, we just sit back and watch Zarok destroy Galomir once more. Oh, you remember Zarok at least? Yes, that madman is back from the exile. Okay, I'll put him back in exile. Has been waking the dead, turning good men evil. He turns this land bad quicker than tub of yak's cheese next to warm radiator. Okay. Why are you back among the living? His magic! Or perhaps fate? Fate gives you chance to redeem yourself. Make amends for your cowardly death. Eh? Cowardly death? Yes, yes! I was there that fateful day! I saw you hanging back, pretending to tie your bootlaces, and getting hit by first stray arrow! <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Ah, never believe on publicity. You just a big coward, buried as big hero with poor genie still trapped inside his head. Come on, I know you are a tough guy deep down. We can work with that. I will be guide. Maybe this time we truly defeat him. We oui. men killed you. His magic cursed me. Together, we squash that creepy cockroach. Free me. Turn you into a real hero, eh? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, well, well. He's back. Ugh, what are these things? Daniel Fortescue, the hero. <laughs> I thought that was a statue. Hello, Mia. Rendered eyeless and lifeless by the first arrow. Rendered heroic by the mists of time. Why do your your eyes poke out of your face like that? PR can do. Now the fickle finger of fate has given him a second chance. A chance to make good his ignoble past. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. So let me do that already. If I had any breath, I wouldn't be holding it. Hmm. Oh. Anyway, many of my stony kind reside in Galomir. We may be woken with a gentle nudge, not with a kiss. Please, don't try the kissing thing. We don't have affectionate natures. Wouldn't even think of it. Okay, so I can just bump into those statues to have them talk. Okay. Now let me see. Okay, okay. Got some little moves. What is that I'm holding in my hand? Is that my... What happened to my arm? Oh, wow. I'm, I'm holding my arm. <laughs> That's my weapon. That's crazy. Oh, okay. Okay. So let me see. How do I do my heart attack? Oh, okay. Okay, so I got my uh, my long distance, and then I got my quick, my quick, my quick whack. Okay, that's how I charge, and then that's how I jump. Okay. Okay. All right, I think we got the mechanics down. Let's us. Uh, yeah, bumping into him is gonna. Okay, what's this little green thing right here? 
Oh, it's showing me like that's where I'll uh, throw my thing at. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, that's kind of cool. All right. How do I rotate the camera? Okay, I see. All right. Uh, what are these? I can't interact with those. Guess not. Okay. Okay, health bottle. What do we have here? A wooden sword. Okay. This will work for the time being. Ah, okay. What is that supposed to mean? Okay. Let's just yeah, let's let's get it moving. Let's get it moving. Uh, so we're gonna go this way first. We're gonna go where the sword is at. Or where the sword was at. Okay, target practice. Ah, a training room, eh? Nice decor. Early macabre. Easy. Alright, I'm beyond that. Yep, okay. Okay, so there's nothing else up in here. Let us see what lies over oh, here. I'm the lava done. Cremation's not your style, I think. It's all good, I got hops. Okay, okay. Okay, Daniel, let me see the hops. Yes, sir. It's a rune key done. Place it in the claw of the rune gate and open sesame. What? I have no idea what this man's talking about. Alright, we are out of here. Now. Yeah, we just gonna come with this loaded up. You got to study? I never had you down as a reader. <laughs> you use a monocle, right? How do I, how do I like, okay, hold on. Do I like, just hit it? Oh. Okay, so that's the map. Where am I at? Can I see like a you are here? <laughs> I don't even get any 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 titles. Where are these places? Okay. Yes, yeah, so I think we can get out of here. An adventurous guide to monsters. Each creature you meet on your adventure will be added to this book. Okay. Oh, uh, there we go. These angles are kind of hard. Okay. Dan's private journal. Strictly no peeking. I'm dead. The darndest thing happened. One moment I'm at the Battle of Galamir giving the order to charge. Then bam. A blinding pain in the old peeper. And sink. And sink me if I don't wake up on the least comfortable bed I ever lay on. Turns out I'm dead. Bit of a blow to my plan to forge a career as a great warrior. Really? Man. I, uh, the most irritating fellow. Al Zalam is his name. Yeah, that dude is okay. Man, this dude wrote an essay. Yeah, there's no way we read all that. Note to sell, update this journal regularly as and when stuff happens. Okay, no promises. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, where's the action at? I'm ready to move. Uh, I'll hit one more of these books inventory and shop gargoyles. As you progress through your adventure, you will find many useful items and weapons once collected. These are automatically stored in Dan's inventory. To open the inventory, press the select button, and the inventory is divided into four sections. Melee weapons, ranged weapons, artifacts, and keys. Artifacts and keys. Each of the sections can be accessed by pressing up, down, or left, right. Um, okay. Certain items can only be used at certain points in the game. If you attempt to use an item in the wrong place, a buzzer sound will play. Shop gargoyles, often items on your travel. These shady individuals are the traders. Okay, so there will be uh, traders or merchants from place to place. 
Yeah, I don't think we need to look at all this. Let me see this guy here. Congratulations on your purchase of the Crypt 3000. In the unlikely event of inaccurate diagnosis of death, remove shroud where applicable. Locate rune stone. Proceed to exit located at the end of hall. Place rune stone in claw hand next to doorway. Oh, so that was that rune that I picked up. Place rune stone in claw hand next to doorway. Contact your undertaker for a 50% refund. Okay. So that should be... Oh, right here. Yep, we're out of here. Yes, sir. So, you're set on finding Zara. Got to. The master, as he likes us to call him, leaves a sulfurous green ether as he passes through the land. Yeah, well, I don't care what y'all like to call him. And you may be sure you're on the right track. I'm gonna call him by his name, Zarok. <laughs> Soon to be crushed. Okay. Okay, we just ah, came from the air. A beautiful map of Galomir. This will help us get around the realm. Okay, and then I can save the game. So I can save the game whenever I... It looks like whenever I come to like this map screen. So let me save the game right quick. There we go. All right. Yeah, let's enter. Let's enter this level. The graveyard. The graveyard. You wouldn't catch me digging graves in my yard. Spoils the ambience. Not even going. Not even going to acknowledge it, Sony. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's that? Okay. Yeah, that angle's kind of funny. Uh, how do I? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Get the attacks ready. Zarok is very close by. Where's he at? At Cemetery Hill, which lies just beyond this graveyard. Okay, Cemetery Hill. Damn, they give you a whole bunch of options. All right, let's go this way first. What do we have here? Ah, oh. real shiny stabby sword. Let's try it out. Yes, sir. I like it. What are these? Oh, I thought those were enemies. <laughs> oh, that's money? What can I use money for in this game? Okay. Just had to make sure. I right, let's move on. Oh, what you want? What do you want to do? Yeah, sit down. Hey, get back. Who else want it? Who else want it? Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy work. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No access to Sleeping Village. Gate secured with a locking spell by order of Lord Z Zira. We just gonna call him Lord Z. We ain't even gonna call him Lord. <laughs> yeah, we have no ownership to him. Or he has no ownership over us. We're gonna call him Z. Uh, return to your hovel within a wait by doom. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming for you, Z. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Welcome back to Galomir, Daniel. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living. Okay, I'll put them back down. These are truly strange and terrifying times. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Now get out of here. You're blocking my view. Okay, so I think I'm done talking to these <laughs> creatures. Did I, did I already go all the ways I needed to go? Let me just double check people. I went, this is where I came from, and then I went. They were showing me this way is locked. This way before I went to go get the sword. Yeah, okay, so we're good. Whoa, who, who who's following me? Where did this hand come from? I can't cut this thing? Oh, it's just it's just it's just in the background. Okay. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, he's not doing anything to me. Oh, yeah, they got a whole smorgasbord of them. Yeah, come over here. It's a smorgasbord. Who else want it? Oh, yeah, I got something for you. Oh, 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 I know you did not touch me. Okay, an earth rune. Whoa, don't fall in the water. Oh, nice move, David Jones. <laughs> okay, Daniel, let's 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 be smarter than that. Let's be smarter than that. 
Okay, this game's kind of cool. Mechanics are a little tough, but once you get yeah, once you get the basis of them, you're 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 pretty well off. Okay, this guy's the big dude. Yep, sit back. You want another dose? Sit back. Okay, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get these quick hits. Get these quick hits. Yeah, now you get yours. Now you get yours. Yeah. How do I get over there? Oh, this hand! Sony, why is there a hand crawling on the ground? Yep, use that earth room. Get me in here, get me in here. Mm-hmm. I don't even know where I'm going. What are we going for? Oh, found me a club? And some money. Oh, I can just hold it out like this? No way. No way that does damage. Oh, that didn't even hurt him. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Yep. Smack him with this club. Ooh, this club is doing nothing. Yeah, this club is trash. Hold on, let me, let me, uh, let me switch my weapons. What does it mean by 88%? Yeah, I'm sticking with the sword. Yeah, we sticking with the sword. That club is doing literally nothing. Yep, yep, use that heal vial. What y'all want? What y'all want? Mm-hmm. Sit him down. Okay. Now, we gotta figure out how we get over here. Okay, I see a, I see a gate on the other side over there. Okay. Yeah, and the rest of the way I already came from over here. Okay. Um, yeah, there's nothing else over there. Yeah, let me take out Buddy Boy over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you want to do? Mm-hmm. Throwing daggers. Man, they give you a whole bunch of weapons. How do these work? Okay, what happens if I charge it up? Okay. Uh, for this, I'm thinking this would be a case where I need, uh... I think this might be a job for the club. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, let me switch. Let me switch. Yeah, let me get the sword. Yep, yep, yep. Keep running up. Keep running up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sit down. Oh, ooh. Ooh, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, yep. Slash him up. Slash him up. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yes, sir. Everybody can get a piece. Okay, yep, 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 he didn't even see it coming. Put him down. Okay, how do I... Access these paths? It, I guess it depends on where this thing faces. Yep, look at, would you look at that? Okay, okay, yeah, I need y'all to move. Yep, yep. Okay, now. Okay, there's a red one here. What's up? Hello, stranger. What can I sell you today? Okay, so. Bit of okay, so these are the guys that sell things. Hellfire, throwing daggers. I don't really need none of that. So we can keep it pushing. All right, show me the next entrance. Where? 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 What do we have here? The chalice. 
Congratulations, you may have already won a free trip to the Hall of Heroes. To claim free admit and simply collect souls from vanished enemies in this beautiful golden chalice. Once the chalice is full, you can redeem your prize by visiting the Hall of Heroes. Free gift with every visit. <laughs> there are many other chalices to find and collect. Don't delay. Start, start killing today. I like the sound of it. Alright, open this one up. Yep, 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 yep. What y'all doing up in here? Yeah, go back to sleep. Alright, open up the next one. Yeah, we in here. Mm-hmm. Okay, before we progress, I think there's one more uh, little entrance. Yep, right here. Yeah, let me get that. Let me get that. Okay, yep, go go all the way around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Atta boy. Oh, what do we have here? Sony, y'all aren't slick. Y'all are not slick with this one. Oh, whoops. Like I wouldn't see that. Yeah, get me in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Who want it? Oh, okay, Sir Daniel. Got some moves. Mm-hmm. Who else want it? What do we have here? Okay, we'll find out as soon as I take out these dudes. Yep. What is this? Are you supposed to do something right here? Okay, I don't know. Oh, maybe that's a place that heals you. Yeah, watch out, buddy boy. Get sliced. Yeah, sit down. Okay, here go a room right here. Blue room or a moon room. Okay. Now let me let me collect this right quick. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh you look like proper knight now. Well, kind of. Oh yeah, I need that. I need that. How do I use the shield though? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at your boy. Oh, ready. Okay, okay. Now let me go back here right quick, people, and see what lies what lies up this road. Okay, the moon room is what I got from. Okay, over now before I progress. Um, I'm not sure which way is like to the final exit. Oh wow, well, I can't go back now. Yeah, we just got to keep it pushing. Yep. Oh yeah, sit him down. Oh yeah, come over here. Mm-hmm. Yep, slice them all up. Slice them and dice them. What are y'all doing over there? Yeah, please come over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sit him down. It don't matter. It don't matter if y'all are on the other side. Oh, okay. I, I think I still can get up. Oh, okay. What do we have here? Yes, sir. I know I find my way in. Yep. Get my coins up. Get my coins up. Okay, I definitely can't make that jump. Yeah, we're not even gonna try. Alright, now. Yeah, what we will do what we will do is we'll make this jump. There we go. Okay, hold on. Before we progress, let me see what this creature has to say. Evil alert! Evil alert! Zarak's beyond these gates. Meeting with the demon from the mausoleum. Hatching evil plots and generally being naughty. If I were a failed one-eyed warrior, 
I'd make myself scarce, mate. <laughs> well, you're not. So, go ahead and quiet yourself while I handle this. Oh, ooh, okay, hold on. Now, there's no way to get up over there? Okay, just making sure, just making sure. Let's, let's get up in here. Hey, Z! Come out here, Z! The Hall of Heroes. Hall of Heroes. Like Valhalla. Only I'm legally obliged to say we're not affiliated. So you just you just gonna stay you just gonna talk right over me. Welcome, O oh undernourished one, to the Hall of Heroes. What did he just call me? Where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, arm wrestling, and singing out of tune. If they think you're worthy, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. In your case, you'll be lucky to walk away with a spud gun. Now move it, Twiggy. I'm getting tired of these people disrespecting me in this game. Okay. Where are all the heroes at? Oh, okay. Let's see what we have here. I want to talk about this is where all the heroes are at. Yeah, who are you? Captain Fortescue, does the battle go well? <laughs> <laughs> A temporary setback, I'm sure, sire. Gosh, they were merry times, slapping our thighs, downing beakers of bitter shandy, and the battles, ooh, they were fun too. How I wish I could help you in some way now. Let me get those uh, bow and arrows. But hold. Oh, you could take my... Yes, sir. I used it at the Battle of Galomir. After you were slain, I shot Zarak's champion, Lord Cardock, a clean kill, sir. So, so after I got slain. At some 300 yards. M meaning you watched. Uh, not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> yeah, let me get that. I'll, ta I'll take that. Got me a crossbow. Oh, wow. I didn't know you only get one choice. Do I still get to choose from these other people? Wow. Okay, let me see what I would have gotten. I could have gotten a hammer. Uh, okay, I, I think I'm fine without that. I could have gotten another sword. Oh, I could have gotten... Oh, that's me, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I'm proud of what I got. I'll, I'll take what I got. Oh, this is my this is my throne right here. This is my crown. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna reside. All right, let's move up to the top. Um, yeah, see what it takes us. Cemetery Hill. Okay, so we completed the first uh <laughs> the first little mission, the graveyard. All right, people. I think that will be a solid place to save the game for our start, and then we will continue on. I'll see, depending on how long these take, how many uh, stages I can do in one video, and um, we'll just go from there. But there you have it, people. Once again, thank you guys for watching. As always, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you guys are enjoying this medieval series. And I will continue to progress through for you guys. All I know is the main thing is we're going after um, this dude. Um, Z, Z, Zarok. We're going after Zarok. And there are little collectibles and things that we can get uh, from place to place to, I guess, just unlock more items and other little little things. So uh, overall, it's just like your typical kind of hack and slash game with a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of lore uh, mixed in. So overall, cool game. Uh, we'll continue to progress through. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm still a little new to like the weapons. Uh, how do I say the weapons? 
the weapon abilities basically I don't know which weapons are more ideal to use does it depend on situation or enemy or just let me know in the comment section down below peep in the comment section down below what weapons uh, would be most ideal for me to be using I'll be sure to use that in future videos for you guys cool if nothing else I will see you guys next time.